Hey guys, so I've been watching a lot of like rom-com type movies or just romantic type of centered around love, love type of movies. Um, and I've noticed a lot of things that maybe wouldn't happen IRL because you know, why did I say R IRL instead of in real life? Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. I am not a 16 year old girl. Why am I speaking like one or a preteen? I guess is even probably more realistic. What is happening with me? Um, so I thought that I would kind of explain some of the movies that I've been watching and some of the things that are quite different than real life. Um, I don't know. It's just something I feel like it's good. Fun times. So the first one is in Cinderella story when Austin did absolutely everything to find his Cinderella including putting up posters and calling everyone and holding those like audition thingies where they came and talked to them and like he did absolutely everything to find his Cinderella after one night and in real life you can send a guy a friend request and it takes him weeks to get back to you and it's just not quite realistic because I feel like if you meet someone and you don't know who it is you're just kind of like meh fun times not oh my gosh I have to have to do absolutely everything and we're gonna have this great romance we're gonna kiss in the rain after a drought in a middle of a football game and I'm gonna leave the games to see her and mwah, um, because I feel like that's just not real life. Yeah. Um, the next one is totally being friend zoned. And this can be seen in Fault in Our Stars where Gus gets out of the friend zone. Um, please tell me how you did that because I have been stuck in the friend zone so many times. I feel like I just become good friends with a lot of the guys that I like um, because I want to get to know them better and then it kind of gets in that awkward situation of are we friends, are we not? And then it just becomes like, yay, we're good friends and nothing's ever going to happen. Mm. Um, but in the movie, he is all like, ooh, we're good friends. And then it's like, ooh, let's travel the world because we're so in love. Mm. And I don't know how he does it because that just does not seem realistic very much. Um, and then the last example I have is Twilight. I watched uh, Twilight with one of my friends the other day and I realized Edward barely knows Bella, but does everything to save her. A little bit creepy at times when he's like protecting over her and like watching her, but like seriously risks his life before even knowing her to do that. I think it's hard for a lot of like anybody to even like say hi to a person on every day that they or even talk to them on every day not like saving their life because a little bit on the extreme but even to like do something for that person not gonna happen most likely maybe 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 but a lot of the time probably not um but yeah those are just three movies I've watched and I'm like whoa slow it down back it up back it up back it up back it up it up and turn around and go because that is not what's gonna happen but that's why I like watching those movies because I'm like oh maybe that will happen sometime to me and then it's like oh but I don't live in Hollywood and on a movie set that's all scripted out and stuff how great would that be if your life was just all like scripted out and like everything just happened like the Truman Show have you guys ever seen that movie raise your hand if you have woo um we had to watch it in school and I just fell in love with it the Truman Show it's like this guy like lives in this place and like stuff starts falling and he realizes he's actually been on TV shows his whole life good times um and that's like one of my dreams actually after watching that did any Anyone else think what if that is my life just me okay um but I honestly like as much as sometimes those movies are like so unrealistic I love them I love rom-coms I love all of those type of things so I definitely will not stop watching them um, I just thought it was kind of funny cuz I'm like hmm I can really get a guy to start a conversation with me on Facebook. I'm, I feel like I'm always the one starting conversations and I'm like, 
don't want to come across needy, but, um, yeah. So, I was just thought it was kind of funny, but I love those type of movies. You guys should leave a comment down below of what your favorite type of rom-com or rom romantic any movie is, whether it's The Notebook or Twilight or whatever um and yeah I would love to read those because maybe you guys know some that I haven't actually seen and then I can watch them and it will be great times and then I'll be like thanks bud we're friends you're awesome you rock yes um but yeah if you guys want to see more videos you guys can subscribe to my channel and I put a new video almost every single day and I would love to share more of my life with you guys and I just kind of talk and share and yeah so if you guys ever have any ideas or comments or anything make sure to leave them down below but other than that I hope you guys have an amazing fantastic day this is awesome as you are and I'll talk to you later bye